will discuss about IgA nephropathy that is also goes by the names Burgess disease. So few points which you should uh, know about uh, IgA nephropathy. Firstly as the name suggests there are IgA deposits which are present in the mesangium. So this is important the uh, deposits are present in the mesangium. Second uh, that it is uh, a most common type of glomerular nephritis worldwide. This is a uh, most common type of glomerular nephritis. Thirdly, that it is a frequent cause of recurrent gross or microscopic hematuria. So now we will go to the clinical picture then discuss the pathology and then the microscopy. So what are, how the patient will present? Patient can present at any age. However, the most common uh, patients are older children or young adults. The patients usually present after a respiratory viral infection or GI infection and patient will go into uh, gross hematuria. Okay, this is the typical presentation. Gross hematuria or microscopic hematuria after the infection. These patients, uh, the uh, thing that it comes once then it uh, comes again after some time okay after some years again there is a respiratory infection again patients present with gross hematuria so this is recurrent okay and these patients can maintain normal renal function for decades however they can grow into chronic renal failure also now these persons when they go into chronic renal failure the uh, again they can go for transplantation but in transplantation there is again seen reoccurrence of these IgA deposits. So, around in around 30% of the patients. So, this is the clinical picture of the and the progression of the disease. Now, going to the pathogenesis. Now, pathogenesis suggests there is either a genetic or acquired abnormality in the immune regulation. So, there is something wrong with the immune regulation because uh, some HLA have been identified. So, these are leading toward abnormality in immune regulation which leads to increased IgA synthesis in response to any respiratory or GI exposure to environmental agents. So uh, uh, just imagine the patient has a respiratory viral infection and after that there is increased IgA synthesis. So after any infection patient has IgA increased synthesis. Now this IgA along with the immune complexes which are being formed in the body containing IgA will go and get deposited in the mesangium of the glomerulus and when it gets deposited in the mesangium what will it lead to it will lead to increased uh, it will lead to alternative complement pathway activation and it will cause again damage to the kidney to the glomerulus okay so also it is noted that there are two subclasses of IgA molecules there is IgA1 and IgA2 however only IgA1 type is nephrotogenic which is seen in the mesangium. So IgA1 and IgA1 containing immune complexes they will go and get trapped in the mesangium and then they will activate the alternative complement pathway and will lead to glomerular injury. Now. Uh, it is also seen that the Ig nephropathy is increased in patients having celiac disease that is gluten enteropathy again a problem in the immune regulation and also in liver disease patient has in having a liver disease they can sometimes have Ig nephropathy because the body is not able to clear the IgA complexes this is type of a secondary Ig nephropathy the IgA which is present in the plasma of a person is mostly monomeric form okay however the polymeric forms are catabolized in the liver uh, as there is a liver disease these polymeric forms will not be uh, catabolized and therefore in these patients you can see increased uh, plasma polymeric IgA going to the morphology the morphology will vary according to the stage of the person according to progression of the disease Okay, so as the disease progresses, the person will uh, uh, worsen and the morphology of the, his, uh, the histology will also change. So what all you have, you have MSGN that is mesangio uh, polyphrative glomerular nephritis. Okay, or you see it as MPGN. This is how the presentation can occur. A patient can go into focal polyphrative glomerular nephritis and 
lastly the person can also go into crescentric glomerulonephritis that is the rpgn okay so as you know rpgn has a poor prognosis so the person having this morphology will have a poor prognosis so the uh, uh, microscopy light microscopy will vary okay so uh, if we talk about the earlier stage that is the msgn stage that is the mesangio uh, proliferative glomerulonephritis you will see that there is some proliferation in the mesangium so here you can see their mesangial cells are increased that is there is some proliferation in the mesangium going to the immunofluorescence picture here you can see there is deposition of iga okay and there is deposition of c3 and popardin because there is activation of alternative complement pathway also so both deposits can be seen and on electron microscopy again you will see electron dense deposits but in the mesangium so mesangium contains all this uh, iga and therefore the electron dense deposits will also be seen in the mesangial itself so this was all about the iga nephropathy uh, thanks for watching the video uh, like share and subscribe to this channel and ask any queries in the comment box